Yoshikawa Uchi. Hello, Mary Lou. I'm Yoshi. Uh, I stayed one year from 1989 to 1990 in Berkeley, and it was a time ADA was enacted. And at that time, uh, Berkeley, not, not at that time, even now, Berkeley was regarded as a kind of mecca of disability movement. And the Japanese people were no, uh, Japanese people knew very well about uh, the activity of CIL and the World Institute. But almost all people in Japan has no information about DREADOF. Because in Japan at that time, we had no idea to require accessibility by law. So I was very interested in uh, dread of the activity. And uh, Mary Lou, you were very kind to me and you taught everything, whatever I asked you. And when I come back to Japan, I talked uh, this information to some lawyers in Japan who are interested in disability issues. And they were also very interested. And they asked me to take them to Berkeley. So I formed the group and visited Berkeley and the dread of Mary Lou also welcomed us and taught us many things. And she explained the importance of legal advocacy. Law generate the uh, development of society. So law has to be an engine of the accessibility for people with disabilities. So right now, those lawyers are working very hard and we have made the accessibility law in Japan, but I don't think it is still based on, it is not based on the civil rights idea in Japan, but anyway, physically, Japanese society became very accessible. And I have invited Mary Lou several times to Japan, and she came to Japan and delivered lectures and visited many places. Um, at that time, uh, accessibility was not so much matured, but right now it is more developed than before. I hope you will continue your activity and uh, contribution to disability movement, not only for US people, but also Japanese people. I look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.